to your challenge week. We are going to do day four today and today we are doing a fitness challenge. So let's get our bodies nice and warmed up first. You have a quick check, you've got plenty of space and you've got a drink ready at hand, okay? We're gonna warm up with the numbers game. So I'm gonna shout out a number and that will mean an action that you have to do. So if I shout out number one, you're gonna do a jumping jack. If I shout out number two, you're gonna jump to the sky. And if I shout out number three, you're gonna to touch the floor, okay? If in between, you're just gonna run, okay? And we might mix up that action as we go. So make sure you've got your space. And off we go, let's start with running. Just some gentle jogging. So number one, is our jumping jack. Number two, jump high. Number three, touch the floor. Uh, so we'll go through it one more time. One. speed up a little bit now maybe do a mix of numbers so three two three one one two three three one 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 two two one Oh, did you get that right? I got it wrong. Make sure you pay attention. What is your jumping jack? So one. So two, one. Uh, I hope you got it right that time. Three. Which one's three? See if you can remember. Three is your touch. Right, we're going to some more in. So I'm going to just freeze for a minute. We have two more in. If I say four, you're going to trial. If I say five, you get to do a hop. Okay, right, are we ready? Off we go. See if we remember. Four, twelve. Four, twelve. Five, hop. Five, hop. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Four. One, two, three, three, one, four, five, one, one, two, three, five, four. Okay, have a little rest. That was a long warm up so well done grab yourselves a drink have a little sit down if you need pause the video if you need a bit of a longer break because we are going to move on now so we're going to do a quick little stretch just to get our bodies all warmed up and then we're going to move into our fitness challenge okay so i'm in my space i'm going to start with my circles arms backwards and we're going to go forwards five times as well get them all warmed up that's it, and then we're going to go feet apart, we're going to reach over to one side. See if you can reach as far as you can, hide that ear away. And let's see, we're going to put our hands back on our hips, feet still apart. Glue that ear and we're going to go the other way. Hold it nice and still. That's it, and then we're going to reach up with our feet together as tall as we can. And see if you can touch your toes. See if you can reach them. I'm going to hold here for a few seconds. Try and keep those legs really straight. I'm going to reach back up again and I'm going to give our arms a bit of a shake. I'm going to bring one arm across our body and we're going to hook our other arm around like we've done before so we can feel the stretch in our shoulder. I'm going to swing our arms, I'm going to switch the other arm across our body and link it in with the other arm, making sure again you can feel that stretch. Excellent, give your arms a bit of a shake and we're going to look to the right or the left in your case. And we're going to look the other way. And we're going to look up to the ceiling. And we're going to look down to the floor. And we have our feet apart again, not too far, shoulder width. Let's make some circles with our hips. Big circles. Once we've done five circles one way, let's do five the other. Very good. And 
And then once we've done that, we're going to see if we can get hold of one foot and bend it into our bottom and squeeze our knees together and see if we can stay still. We're going to hold this for five seconds. And once we've done, we're going to switch legs. We should feel the stretch out of this part of our leg here. And we want to keep this leg super straight that we stand on. Excellent. And we're going to make some waves with our wrists. Big waves. And some little waves. Big waves. Little waves. And we're going to do small circles on ankles. Remember, let's not put too much pressure on them. Just to get them nice and warm. The other one as well. Do about five circles on each foot. And it'll give your body a shake. Grab yourselves another quick drink before we get ready to start our fitness set. Okay, I hope we're all ready then to get started. We are going to do a fitness challenge. So we're going to do an exercise for 30 seconds and then we're going to have a 30 second rest in between. Okay, in that rest, I'm going to show you what to do for the next activity, ready to go for the next 30 seconds. And if you need to have a sit down or a drink in that 30 seconds, then do so. Okay, we're going to make it a challenge for you. So try your best to keep going. I think even I might need a little rest. Okay, so I'm going to do 10 exercises with you. And we're going to try our best to keep going all the way through. It's up to you how fast or slow you want to do them. Okay, if you're finding it easy, go a bit faster. If you're getting a bit tired, go a bit slower, okay? So I've got a timer here and it says 30 seconds. When I press play, it'll make a beat every time we can start and stop. So just have a check, you've got your space. I'm gonna press play and we're gonna start with jumping jacks. So like we did in our warmer, jump out like a star and back in again. We're gonna do it for 30 seconds. So hopefully we're ready, steady, go. Start those jumping jacks. Make sure you're keeping your arms really wide and straight. If you're finding it easy, speak up a bit. If we're struggling, slow it down. But remember, we've got 10 exercises to get through. Okay, so that's quite a lot. So we don't want to tire ourselves out right at the beginning. Excellent job, guys. Keep it going. We've not too long left now. Oh, and stop. So that is our rest. So have a sit down, have a drink, whatever you need to do. This time we're going to do some stand up and lie down. So we're going to start standing up. We're going to squat down to the floor, all the way out, tummy on the floor. Then we can go all the way back in and stand up. Okay, from the side, so you squat down, climb out, lie down, and then all the way back up. Okay, so get ready in your space. Off we go. Squat down, roll out, all the way to the floor, all the way up again. Excellent. Again, you can do this slower, you can do it faster, whatever works for you. See if you can control that down and control it up. We don't want to be plonking onto the floor. So slowly down, nice and controlled. Slowly push back up again. And that's our rest. So grab a drink, have a sit down, have a listen to what we're going to do next. So our next one is some arm circles. So we're going to have our arms out to the side. And we're going to do some little circles. Not too fast. You can choose whether to do them forwards or backwards. Okay, and this is going to work our shoulder and our arm muscles, making them nice and strong. So give your arms a bit of shake so they're ready. Make sure you've got your space again. And let's get ready to go. Off we go. Little arm circles. These ones are a bit trickier if you go slower. If you go faster, you might find it's a bit easier. So I'm going to go somewhere in the middle. Not too slow, not too fast. I'm going to concentrate on my breathing to get my breath back from the last one. So I'm really fueled for the exercise that I need to do next. Okay, it's really think about keeping those arms straight. Try not to let them drop too low. Try and keep them up shoulder height like mine. Excellent, and have a rest. Give your arms a bit of a shake out. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is opposite arm to knee. So we're gonna put our arm, like we're not so strong. We're gonna lift our other knee up, and we're gonna touch them. And we're gonna lift our other arm up like we're nice and strong. Lift our other knee up and touch them. And we're just going to alternate. So switch sides each time making sure we're crossing our body. Okay, 
hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Have a bit of a practice if you need to. Okay, off we go. Opposite arm to knee. You really want to get that twist in your body, so it's going to work your tummy muscles here. Try and get that elbow to touch that knee. Excellent job, guys. Keep it going. If you're feeling it, you can just speed up a little bit. If you need to slow down, that's okay too. I'm sure some of you are going a lot faster than me. Excellent job. Keep all those muscles working. And have a rest, shake it out. Excellent job. Right, the next one we are going to do is frog jumps. So, we're going to touch the floor. You can either have your legs together, or we can have them out so we look like a frog. And then we're going to jump up to the ceiling. Okay, so we're going to do a frog jump. So we sort down like a frog and we jump up. And then back down again. And we keep going. Okay, this is a tiring one. If we need to have a little rest, that is okay, guys. See if you can push through and do it for the whole 30 seconds. Right, are we ready? Off we go then. Let's see if we can keep going. Who can be the biggest frog? Who can be a frog for the longest? Oh, I'm getting tired already. Keep going, guys. You can hear me breathing deep. I'm trying to concentrate. I'm not breathing too fast. I can feel my legs start to ache a bit now, but I'm going to keep going. Keep going, everyone. And rest. Give them a shake. Have a little drink if you need one. I'm going to show you the next one. So, we're going to do an arm one again. We're going to have our arms out, and then we're going to bring them in front of us straight and back out again. So, from the side, arms out, arms in front, arms out again. Okay? So all we're going to do, keep our arms short, get ready to go. Three, two, one, go. Arms in and arms out. Keep working those arms. If you need to have a little rest, that's okay. You can pause the video or take yourself out to have a little rest and try the exercise in a minute. Good job. I'm really making my shoulders work now and they're starting to ache. I hope yours are too. It means we're going to get nice and strong so we can do all those sports we want to do. So we can hit that ball really hard when we do tennis or cricket. Oh, excellent, give them a shake. Right now we're going to go through the next one. So our next one is our squats. So we're going to have our arms in front of us or by our sides, it's up to us. I'm going to squat down and then squat up again like we're sitting on a toilet or a chair. So let me show you from the side. So we're going to bend till we get to a right angle. Hopefully we all know our squares and our shapes. We know what our right angle is. And we're going to stand back up again. Okay, like so. So make sure we're sitting on that toilet every time. If we're struggling, we can do a little bend. Off we go. Bending up all the way. See if we can sit down up in that chair in time. If you want a chair there to sit on and stand up, that's fine, you can do that as a guide. Just make sure you're only tapping your bottom on it, not sitting down properly. We want to work these leg muscles. Can we make sure our feet are facing forwards? So our big toes want to be facing this way. Okay, so we're not got our feet turned out. Excellent, give your legs a bit of a shake. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is called fast feet. We're gonna start with our feet together. We're then gonna step one foot out to the side, other foot out to the side, other foot back in. Other foot back in. So we go out, out, in, in, as fast as we can. Okay? If we're struggling with this one, we can just do some jogging on the spot because this one's a bit tricky. Okay? So we go out, out, in, in, as fast as we can. Off we go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, out, out, in, in. Excellent. Keep it going. This one's going to get our heart rate back up again. So see if you can go as fast as you can, it's fast feet. If we get a bit tired at the end, see if you can push through. Keep it going, not too long left now. Excellent work, see if we can keep those knees up high. If you get a bit confused, don't worry. Excellent, and give your body a bit of a shake again. Have a rest, grab a drink, ready for our next one. So our next one is our squat thrusts. Okay, again, this one's a bit of a tiring one, so we're going to go slowly. We're going to start in our squat, we're going to jump our feet out, and I'm going to jump them back in again. Okay, that's all it is. It wants to be nice and controlled. Once you get the hang of it, you can go a bit faster. 
Okay, this is going to work our arms and our legs, our whole body. Off we go. Try not to stick those bottoms in the air. We don't want to look like a mountain like this. We want to keep our bottoms nice and low. We don't want to look like a seal either. So that's going to be bad for our backs. See if we can go in the middle. Let's see if we can keep it going. Try and jump those feet as close to your hands as you can. I can't quite get them in. Excellent. Have a little sit down and a rest. This is our last exercise now. So excellent job. Okay, we are going to do the plank. So you can either go on your hands to do a high plank or you can go on your elbows to do a low plank. Again, we're making that flat body shape that we just tried to make in our squat thrusts. Okay, so make sure you've got your space. I'm going to do it from the side. I'm going to start on my high plank. Off we go. So halfway through, I'm going to switch to my elbows from my low plank. Making sure my bottom doesn't rise like this or my tummy doesn't drop. Keep it still and nice and controlled. I'm going to drop to my elbows now for the last 10 seconds. Keep going guys. You've only got 10 seconds left. If you need a little rest, that's okay. Try and hold it now. Keep grabbing and have a rest. Excellent job everyone. Give yourself a little clap. I'm very hot and sweaty after that, so no doubt you guys are. So excellent job. Hopefully you have lots of fun. That's a good one to keep your heart rate going and to use all your different muscles doing some exercises like that. And they will help you get stronger to help you learn your skills for your sports or any games you play. Okay, so well done. Hope you had fun and I'll see you next time.